A push for more police officers means a group of animals could be left out in the cold. Budget cuts are being considered for one mid-state animal shelter. News Channel 5's John Quill Newland traveled to Mount Julia today and explains why city officials say the money has to come from somewhere. That story is new at 6 tonight. Mount Juliet is in the middle of a growth spurt. With more people comes more pets and animals. Now, so far, the shelter here has done a good job of keeping up. However, future city funding could challenge that. Since its opening, the Mount Juliet Animal Shelter has set the bar for animal care. With more than 30 kennels and an on-site clinic and grooming facility, it goes above and beyond your typical shelter. It's clean, it's nice. People go there and they don't feel bad for the animals. A small staff and devoted volunteers keep the shelter running, but those numbers may soon change as city officials look at ways to fund the police department. Right now they're looking to see if they can save a little bit of money to hire an extra one, maybe two policemen for the future. The shelter is run through the police department and cuts could mean a drop in funding by $130,000. We're going to ask that the uh, volunteers step up a little bit. It's hard now to get volunteers to do the things that need to be done. This volunteer isn't too certain that will work. Volunteers are fine when you can get them there for walking dogs and cleaning the cat cages. But that's not all the shelter people do. Volunteers can't go out and seize animals. Her biggest concern, lack of volunteers and funding, would turn this no-kill shelter into a kill shelter. If it gets overcrowded, they will have to consider euthanizing some dogs. But city officials say that won't happen. It'll just cut the hours of when, you know, somebody can just walk in and adopt an animal. It's important to note no decision has been made so far. Stay with News Channel 5 as this story develops. In Mount Juliet, I'm John Quill Newland, News Channel 5 HD. Thanks, John Quill. Right now, it's not clear if staffing at the shelter will change. City officials say they still have time to discuss the issue. We also reached out to Mayor Ed Haggerty. Our calls have not been returned.